What's going on, everybody? Be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Check out all the links in the description to some original videos that will tie in and connect to this video here. Um, without further ado, um, let's uh, let's get started into this. So, as I was emailing back and forth with uh, the Coweta Judicial District um, District Attorney Herb Cranford and. Uh, process of trying to gain an open record um, I followed up and requested um, some further uh, some further um, records as well and uh, you'll be really surprised to find out what I found um, this leads back to also where the incident happened at Coastal State Prison um, where we were arrested and charged from a public parking lot gathering content for our story so this made information pretty quick back to uh, back to back to this area over here. As we get started here, I would like to just point out um, the district attorney Herb Cranford, as well as the mission statement um, that should be followed, or is what looks to be given to the public that that is what they follow here is uh, the mission of the Coweta Judicial Circuit's District Attorney's Office is to pursue justice on behalf of the community and victims of crime to uphold the law and to maintain the trust of the people we serve this office will accomplish this mission by being motivated to do what is right in each case by being fair respectful and honest to all people with whom we interact and by executing our duties with humility so we'll start off with an email that was sent from Sheriff Lynn Wood of Coweta County to District Attorney Herb Cranford uh, uh, with what appears to be the uh, the arrest that happened at Coastal State Prison. Um, Sheriff Lynn Wood told the District Attorney that uh, I saw that and he's glad to see it. So you're glad to see uh, citizens being arrested for exercising their First Amendment rights? Uh, I'm glad to know that, Sheriff Lynn Wood. I'm glad to know that you you're glad to see people be arrested for exercising their First Amendment rights. This next email here uh, comes from uh, the Troop County County Commissioner Eric Mosley that addressed to Herb Cranford, I wish you could call down there and have them held for a few days. Wow. Have us held for a few days for exercising our First Amendment. Holy cow. And this, it's it gets a whole lot better than this trust me all right so this next email here is one email that comes from the sheriff of Meriwether County Chuck Smith and the email reads to Herb Cranford and Brian Hadley well there you go I figured he would have eventually been arrested for possessing kitty porn maybe talk with you maybe that's supposed to be your colleague in the prosecuting arena and enlighten him Sheriff Chuck Smith you, there's no way you're, this, this is not a conspiracy to fabricate a false crime against uh, Georgia Transparency without any baseline to this, is it? I, I don't think it is, but uh, that's what it looks like, in my opinion, is that um, you're maybe trying to fabricate some, you know, a, a false crime against Georgia Transparency. Um, if you remember, Georgia Transparency exposed uh, Judge Rasnick for um, an incident that took place with a previous Meriwether County employee, Lori Dockery. Um, so inside that office as well, one of the clerks is Shannon Neely, which is the stepdaughter of Brian Hadley, the assistant chief under Chuck Smith. So all of this connects. Um, and, you know, this, this, I don't think this is a conspiracy to try and silence uh, Georgia transparency uh, for utilizing the First Amendment. Um, however, in my opinion, it does look this way. Uh, I had a different opinion on Chuck Smith in the past. I thought he was a great sheriff, but apparently I was wrong. Um, and we're all human. We can all be wrong from time to time. And Chuck Smith, you are not a great sheriff in my opinion. And this is absolutely absurd that you would even send an email like this that states those words all right lastly is a snippet of the one of the emails that i got back from him that i want to uh closely highlight here um, we've told employees for example that auditors are known to use their middle finger to shoot a bird at, at members of law enforcement to try and get them to react negatively toward the auditor so the auditor can record it 
We have told staff, we have told staff of our understanding that you were fired from the Coweta County Sheriff's Department and may have a bias against law enforcement and prosecutors. So our staff should not expect you to be a good faith actor who actively needs the service provided by our office. We told staff our understanding that you have recently been arrested in relation to your auditing behavior and that you may become more desperate for attention and internet fame. So they should be more cautious in dealing with you. We have told employees not to engage you about your claims about the meaning and interpretation of the First Amendment because it is apparent to you and other auditors you have little understanding about the First Amendment law and its application. So what Do else I have do you to leave? Yes. So you're going to violate my rights and kick me out of a public space without committing any crime? Yes. So what do else I do you have to leave? Yes. So you're going to violate my rights and kick me out of a public space without committing any crime? As for serving all other members of the community, we have instructed employees to continue to operate as we always have. Okay, so they're going to always, so they're going to operate to always want to openly admit to violating the people's rights. Um, it looks like you, Mr. Herb Cranford, in your offices have little understanding about the First Amendment law and its application, sir. You need a little brush up on it. And you know what? We can help you out. And I'll give you one. Freedom of speech. I'll see if you can figure out the other four. And it looks like we didn't get uh, service because we had a camera and we were asking questions. Herb Cranford, you wouldn't be doing this to try and silence us, would you? Nah, nah, you wouldn't do that. Exact. Nah, you're a stand-up guy, aren't you? Nah, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't try to silence us for asking questions and exercising our rights um, that's been, you know, given to us in their Supreme Court case law that backs up, you know, filming in public and freedom of the press and everything. You wouldn't be violating that. No, 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 not Herb. That is going to do it for this video. Really quick, there is a lot more coming out for this. Um, a lot more follow-up to do with this. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All important links will be in the video description. Be sure to go check it out. Uh, everything that has been uh, presented in this video was... Uh, obtained through open record requests and Georgia Transparency will be making these open records requests um, fully intact to the public uh, for you to view and Georgia Transparency will be posting that link uh, if not tonight we'll be posting it first thing uh, in the morning once we get everything uploaded thanks everybody thanks again please hit that like share subscribe and we will catch you on the next video Mag. I'm a snag. I'm a snag. I'm a snag. I'm a slither little snake and snag. I'm so slither and sneaky because I'm a snag.